These girls in Team Ohana represent just a few of our girls, which we affectionately call tech divas, that take a part of the programs that we do with Black Girls Code. I like to think that they are bending the stereotype of what it means to be a coder and what impact coding could have on our world. When we started Black Girls Code in 2011, we were really addressing this important issue. And Robin talked a lot about this in her speech right before me. But there is a serious gender divide in the technology space right now. And women and girls are being left behind or they're totally missing in both the classroom, in online spaces, and even in the workplace. When I began my college career at the end of the 80s, um, there was a peak moment for women in computer science. Women received approximately 35% of bachelor's degrees in computer science in the US. Since that time, that number has plummeted. It's less than 18% now for all women. But for women of color, that number falls off a virtual cliff. African-American women in the US only receive 3% of bachelor's degrees in computer science. And for Latinas and Native American women, that number is less than 1%. It was these statistics that were really the wake-up call for me in 2011 and really planted the seed for what would become an organization determined to change the image and the face of technology. Our solution is to introduce these young women of color, and we start very early in the pipeline at age six or seven. Um, we introduce them to technology with a goal of letting them understand the power of becoming both builders and creators and not just consumers of technology. Our goal is to become the Girl Scouts of Technology, and we want to introduce over one million girls to coding by the year 2040.